So we all know that panning shots are really cool, but what if you shot a photo and afterwards you realize, damn, I wish that was a panning shot. Don't worry, because I got you covered. In this video, we will go through how to fake a panning shot in Photoshop. So first of all, we are going to open up our photo in Photoshop. And first of all, we have to create an isolated layer with only our car. So there are multiple ways to do it. You can use the pen tool or just a quick selection tool. However you decide to do it, the more time you spend on it, the better the mask is going to look in the end. So take your time and make it a good selection. And once you have done that, just right click and press make new layer via copy. And now you'll have two layers and one of them is only the car isolated in one layer. The other layer is going to be the original photo. Now we will be able to add the blurriness effect to the original photo and the background layer. Now make sure that you have the isolated car layer on top of the background layer. Then select the background layer, go up to filters, go down to blur and motion blur. Here you can decide which angle the motion blur is going to be added and how much you want. So just play around with these sliders and see what fits your photo the best. Once you're happy with how it looks, press OK. And now you will see that you have a blurry background and with your car in the foreground. But we're not done yet. We have a few things that we can do to make it look even better. And that is that when you take a panning shot, the wheels of the car are not going to be in focus because they are spinning. So we are going to add another blur layer to the wheels. This is going to sell it even more to make sure that it looks more like a real panning shot. So we are going to make a selection for our wheels one at a time and then going to add another blur filter on top of them and this time we are going to choose the radial blur and this is going to give the effect that the wheels are turning. Great, we have now sold the effect a little bit more but there's one last thing that we need to get done. There are some remains of the car in the background so you can see the blurriness has been dragging out the car. I don't know how to explain it, but you get it. You can just turn off the car layer so we can see the background even clearer. And now we're going to take the clone stamp tool and just mask out and hide the edges of the blurriness of the original car. And that was the last thing. And you now have a faked panning shot. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can check this one out here where I actually shoot real panning shots. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.